John Demyanyuk was an auto, Ohio auto worker when he was arrested and deported to Israel for trial. He was a Nazi, and for lying about that, he was stripped of his U.S. citizenship. So once he returns to Ohio, he'll have to fight to remain in the United States. Still to come in sports, Tommy Frazier will play and with a little bit of pain. And the Atlanta Braves march onward in the National League West. Greg Matson is in next. Stay with us. Walsh, for sharp. In sport, you'd better know where your X's and O's are. It's no different in business. You need a game plan. And Sharp's got winning game plans for your business. The number one fax company can show you a plain paper laser fax with the lowest cost per copy in the industry. Get the right fax from Sharp's new lineup. Get your winning game plan now. Believe me, nothing beats winning. Join the winning team at Eeks. Trade in your thermal paper fax for a new Sharp plain paper model for as low as $69.95 per month. Now at your nearest Eeks office product center. Howard Chiropractic, we really care for you. You need professional care, we're gonna take good care of you. Just like a friend will be there, help you sleep as good as you. We'll make you feel better, so just come on into Howard Chiropractic. Howard Chiropractic, we really care for you. Though the Honda Accord has been one of the best-selling cars in America, we thought it was time to make a few changes. Like more interior space, dual airbags, better performance, and all-new styling. The 1994 Accord DX sedan. Basically, Honda changed everything, but the price. See one of your best four Honda dealers. The natural, 100% goodness of Weaver's potato chips starts right here in Nebraska. And can't you just see the reaction? Weaver's freshness from us to you starts with quality produce. In fact, 80% of all our spuds are grown right here, bagged fresh, then rushed to your store. Weaver's even puts the little holes in the chips you've always loved for a lighter, fresher chip with less oil. Weaver's, made in Nebraska for all Nebraskans. They know when it's Weaver's, fresher tastes better. America's team in the news. It's getting down to the nuts and bolts of baseball, and Atlanta always seems to be there. This team has really put on a fantastic show. This would be the third straight year they win the division. It looks like that's what's going to happen. You know, For much of the 93 season, San Francisco was the tequila, Atlanta the beer chaser. But then the Braves received a shot of their own in the form of Fred McGriff. Since his arrival, they've posted an incredible 47-13 and 13 record, beginning a big series tonight in Montreal, where French is the language of choice, and the ladies can field grounders with the best of them. You betcha. Let's pick up the action in the fourth inning. Otis Nixon batting, and shortstop Will Cordero makes a great play, getting the force out at third base, right? Well, umpire Larry Van Over forgot his dog and Kane at home, calling the base runner safe. A great break for the Braves, and... Great teams take advantage of those opportunities. Ron Gant, Mr. RBI, stroking a double to the left field corner. The Braves taking batting practice north of the border, trouncing the Expos 18-5. And San Francisco tonight getting beat in Houston, so they're now back by three and a half games. Philly wins. Their magic number is now seven. L.A. in 11 over Cincy tonight, 5-3. The Cubbies all over St. Louis. New York 4-3 over Pittsburgh. And the Rockies in the six over San Diego. American League, Toronto a winner. The Yanks get beat by the Twins, so they're now five back in the American League East. Cleveland over Baltimore in the ninth inning. Milwaukee 7-4 over Detroit. On the coast, California leading in the second. Seattle in the third inning, and KC has the early lead over Oakland in the third inning. From one diamond to another, the girls' softball season is off and running. The Lynx of Lincoln High with two games on the docket today, facing Omaha Central, and pitcher Lisa Graff was on her game. Firing a heater to register the strikeout keeping the Lynx five-run advantage intact. Nice pitch. Central could not solve the right-hander. Contact made here, but Graff handles the dribbler to get the out and to get out of the inning. The Lynx would get plenty of offense to go along with her pitching this afternoon. They beat Omaha Central 13-9 and then turn around and beat Beatrice 7-1. Bellevue West getting swept by Southeast today in a big way, 15-zip, 16-1. 
The football Huskers stage another fierce practice session this afternoon, so physical in fact that head coach Tom Osborne will try to tone things down tomorrow. Linebacker Dante Jones was back, as was fullback Corey Schlesinger and offensive tackle Lance Lundberg. However, Zach Wiegert and Abdul Muhammad remain sidelined and are listed as questionable for Saturday's game with Colorado State. The twisted ankle of quarterback Tommy Frazier is improving. It's still sore, but he took part in today's practice session and will start Saturday. Frazier is one of the players Osborne refers to as irreplaceable. Yes, a sophomore is playing hurt, but he knows that sends a message to his teammates. I think it sends a message that they have a quarterback here that's going to play through injuries no matter what. If, it, if the teams need him, he's going to be there if, if he's well enough to go out and play with the injury. Does that make them better? Yes, it makes them better, as you notice in the UCLA game. So they, they saw me go down a couple times, so they, they sucked it up. And then I got back in there, it seemed like everyone attitude just rose. Like, hey, he's, great. he's back out here, so that, I mean, that shows us that he really wants to win this game. Let's hope he gets better in a hurry. Finally tonight, every now and again, sportscasters ask questions that seem to make sense, but don't, don't always hit their target. That's when the receiver gets either miffed or starts to play a touch of mind games with the reporter. Such was the case with one of the Detroit Lions offensive coaches today. What you're saying is part of the equation is, is, is the concept, it's the coaching, it's the players, it's the execution, it's all those things worked into one? No, I didn't say all those things. You said all okay, those I things. Said all, I said I thought I might have heard you say all those things. No, no. Are you listening? Did I use the word concept? So you have full confidence that confidence that the abilities, the quality is here. It's a matter of those people executing. No, did I say that? I thought you did. <laughs> no. You said execute up I to our abilities. You need to have your ears clean. <laughs> <laughs> so what Verbal did he say? show game, isn't it? <laughs> One big story tonight in the world of hockey, Wayne Gretzky of the Los Angeles Kings signing a three-year deal worth $25 million, the highest professional contract in sports to date. They'll be around for a while. Good work if you can get it. <laughs> yeah. When we come back, a community put forth effort towards a special cause. Putting the pieces back together when 1011 News continues. Four-wheel, fully independent suspension. 24 valves, 214 horses. Speed proportional steering. Four-wheel ABS and computerized traction control. And cab forward design for greater stability. At last, an American luxury car that can make these feel like invitations instead of warnings. Presenting the Chrysler LHS. An eloquent expression of form following function at your Chrysler Plymouth dealer. Say, I ordered pepperoni and onions on this pizza. I can't taste them. I can't even see them. They're just cut small. Small. Small? Very small. Very small. So small they can't be seen by the naked eye. That small? That small. Looking for really big toppings? Now you can find them at Pizza Hut. Introducing the new chunky style pizza. It's got big chunks of meat and vegetables for taste you can actually see. Hey, I don't believe it. I see one. Where? Hey, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> you haven't seen big toppings till you check out the new chunky style pizza from Pizza Hut. With a computer, you upgrade to make it better. Now Best Buy has upgraded its entire computer department with a strong lineup of industry leaders. Cutting edge software titles, everything you need to enhance your computer and upgrade centers with highly trained technicians. This week, get a Packer Bell 486SX computer with Super VGA monitor, CD, ROM, sound card, and speakers for $13.98. Make no payments and pay no interest for six months on all computers. This week at Best Buy. Most feed companies tell you what they will do. Here are four things we won't do. We won't abandon our dealers or sell out to a foreign company. We won't compete with our customers by feeding livestock commercially. And we won't stop doing valuable research. If other companies do differently, that's their business. We're going to continue doing what we do best. We like to think the independent producer prefers our way. No task is too big to accomplish, just ask the folks of Glenville, where volunteers went to work to rebuild an important part of their community. The Glenville American Legion Hall burned to the ground a month ago. Today, the residents of Glenville built a new one. When crews started to work this morning, there was nothing but a foundation. By mid-afternoon, dozens of volunteers had erected the shell of the new hall. I think it's real great that everybody works together and sticks together. Otherwise, we would never be able to have what we got. 
Although volunteers say they still have a ways to go, they plan to open the doors to the new Legion Hall in just a matter of days. They did get the roof on, didn't they? <laughs> Not before tonight's rain. Looks like a real sturdy shelter, which is going to come in handy tonight for some folks because we've got some possibly severe storms. Here's a look at our 10-11 uh, graphic. Tornado watch continues until 3 a.m. And there's also just now been a flash flood watch posted for this exact same area until 3 o'clock, so watch out for heavy rain. Here's a look at 10-11 Doppler radar very, very quickly. Showers and thunderstorms continue even in the Lincoln area now, and a severe thunderstorm warning is in effect until 11 o'clock tonight for folks in Johnson County of southeast Nebraska. We'll keep everybody updated. Thank you, Ken. For 10-11 News, have a good evening. Join us tomorrow. Stay tuned for the 10-11 cable up. The news about Dodge Intrepid hasn't made Ford and Toyota very happy. After all, its revolutionary cab forward design means Intrepid has more passenger room than Taurus or Camry. Plus, Intrepid offers safety features they don't give you, like both driver and passenger side airbags standard, or an available integrated child safety seat. So when the press started calling Intrepid names, you'd think Ford and Toyota would be overjoyed. They weren't. Dodge Intrepid. This changes everything. There's a man open downfield. Oh, he makes a diving catch and slides out of bounds at the one-yard line. You know, Joe, just as the wide receiver catches the ball, you too should catch an Air Aussie t-shirt, sweatshirt, or hat. It runs a restaurant. Air Aussie wear. Get yours today. But wait until this game's over, right, Frank? No problem there, Joe. This one's got everybody glued to their seats. All right. Team lines up over the ball, and the eye formation looking Air Aussie wear is on sale now at participating runs of restaurants and selected retail outlets. Get yours while supplies last. Today we continue our cable updates to tell you about the new cable law and how it affects television viewers. Across the country, local TV stations like 1011 are working under new federal laws which give us the right to negotiate retransmission consent agreements with local cable operators. In the agreements, we're asking cable operators to pay us a fee to continue broadcasting our programming. They currently pay other program services like the Family Channel, Nickelodeon, ESPN, and TNT. In the agreement, 1011 is asking cable companies, not subscribers, to pay us 25 cents per household per month for the first year. By law, in the first year, fees cannot be passed along to cable subscribers. After that, only increases can be passed along. Without a satisfactory agreement, cable companies will not continue broadcasting 1011 on their cable system and will drop our signal. Some cable companies have failed to reach retransmission agreements with us so far. Cable TV customers in these communities won't be able to watch 1011 on their cable systems after the October 6th negotiation deadline. Skyscan is another cable company that has failed to reach an agreement with 1011. Skyscan subscribers who live in these communities will not be able to watch 1011 on their cable system if Skyscan fails to reach a retransmission consent agreement with us before the October 6th negotiation deadline. Mid-Continent Cable Company is another cable operator that's failed to reach an agreement with us. Subscribers in these Nebraska towns will miss 1011's quality news, weather, and entertainment programming on their cable system if Mid-Continent Cable Company fails to reach a retransmission consent agreement with us before the fast-approaching negotiation deadline. And subscribers of Classic Cable will also miss their favorite 1011 programs on their cable system. Classic Cable, serving towns in both Nebraska and Kansas, has failed to negotiate a retransmission consent agreement that would allow them to continue carrying 1011 on their system. We don't want to be dropped from any of these cable systems, but we object to cable companies taking our signal without paying us and charging you for it. Our signal is and always will be free to viewers with a simple antenna. You don't have to subscribe to cable to watch us. What can you do about this issue? You're the customer. Call your cable operator and say you want to keep watching 1011 on your cable system. And watch the cable update for more information. Weekday mornings at 8.07 and at 10.30 p.m. <laughs>